Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We hope you're enjoying New Sabanita so far. This video covers the second half of our third day on the island. If you haven't already, please check out part one here. Just to bring you up to speed, we hired a car for the whole day and caught the sunrise from the Ruma Pohan Treehouse on the far east coast of the island. We also swam at Diamond Beach and ate breakfast at Warung Kubu, which we highly recommend. On our way back, we stopped at the incredible Goa Giri Putri Temple in the village of Suan, along the northeastern coast. How do you say it? Sa Sarong? Sarong. Sarong. Speak Balinese, Kamban. Mm -hmm. Kamban, speak Balinese. Kambon. Yes, yeah, speak Balinese. Mm -hmm. so sorry, yeah. It's easy to find and you just need to be dressed appropriately in a sarong or sash, which you can rent at the temple space. Our driver Andy provided us with ups. Hydration, very important. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Just, just what are you doing? After a fairly big staircase, you're greeted with a shrine and a priest praying shelter. Here, you'll give a donation and they provide you with holy water. The temple is actually a cave and the entrance itself is easily the most fascinating part. It's literally just a narrow hole in the rock face. Dasha, come in. <laughs> Once you crawl through though, you find out the truly magnificent size of the cave. Unfortunately, my GoPro could not capture this very well, as it was only dimly lit inside. Andy told us that it was used as a shelter for locals during the Second World War when the Japanese were invading. It's very humid inside too, so be aware that your camera lenses might fog up. In total, there are six praying spots which span the length of 262 meters. Even if you feel like you've seen enough temples in Asia, we still think this one is more than worth your time to visit. Its uniqueness and impressive size was certainly a pleasant surprise. How does the holy water compare? Do you feel more like divine? <laughs> After such an early start, we decided to sleep for a few hours and we hit the road again in the late afternoon. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Who knows what time it is? Salamat pagi, salamat sore. Salamat, salamat. <laughs> we then return to our favorite warang for more Fu Yang Hai. Salamat sore. Only 30k and absolutely delicious. Guys, when you find a good place to eat, uh, it's always a good idea to come back because, well, I think it's obvious. Alright, this is just the medicine we need. Let's dig in. After our late lunch, we took the car to Angel's Billabong, which is right next to Broken Beach, where we went on our first day, which you can check out here. Depending on the tide and the swell, this can either be a gorgeous swimming pool or a dangerous washing machine of heavy waves. We recommend using your own intuition and only swimming if it's calm and the tide is low enough. Okay guys, this is what it's like to swim in Angel's Billabong. I will show you what it's like under this water because it's so clear. Have a look. <laughs> Honestly, the waves are probably the best part of this effect. The huge swells crash relentlessly onto the cliffs, creating huge plumes of water that are mesmerizing to watch. Finally, we capped off the day with a relaxing sunset and this nice swing that we found. If you're still here watching, thank you so much. Our last vlog from Lisa Benita will be up in a week. We went snorkeling in search of manta rays. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Leave us a comment and let us know what you thought of this different voiceover style. I kind of like it, but we're keen to hear what you have to say. We'll see you all next week. Thank you for nomading with us.